So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Telnet program and we're going to Telnet into a server that's offering SMTP service. <coughs> SMTP runs on TCP port 25. So we're going to use Telnet space, the name of the email server, space 25. That means that we're going to Telnet, which means I'm going to get remote command line on that server, on that email server. I'm going to get a command line on that server so I can type commands. The commands I'm going to type are based on the RFC of uh, how email works, SMTP, sending emails. And the commands that are sent in the script, which is essentially the email that you hit send on, all that information is being executed in the background when it's trying to connect to the server and transmit that message for you. The email server you want to use is an email server that is going to provide or allow you to connect to it. Most email servers to prevent spam are blocked. So the only email SMTP server that you can connect to more likely is the one that is being provided by your ISP. So if you're on like uh, Mediacom, it would be mail.mediacom.net or smtp.tds.net. Something like that It would be the actual email server. And you can look in your ISP support pages for that actual address when you're configuring the email server. So I hit enter on this, and it says I'm connected. So then I type E-H-L-O. This is essentially L-O, but it says requires a domain address. So E-H-L-O, and then we'll type in a, a domain, an address. So we'll go, um, Microsoft.com. All right. So it says hello, and right away it announces where I'm coming from. This is my public IP address. Right here. This is the IP address of my firewall where I'm coming from. So it's marking where I'm connected from. And this just says this is the how it gets translated. Okay, so I'm saying I'm coming from Microsoft.com which I could make up anything I wanted to, as I'm demonstrating here. So then I type mail from colon, and then I type bill at microsoft.com. So now it's the, I'm creating an email message, and it looks like it's coming from bill at microsoft.com. Then I type RCPT2, so receipt 2, and then I type in Mr. Holverson at gmail.com, and then comma space, and then I can type in more email addresses as I want to, but I'll just use mine for now. I hit enter, and it says recipient is okay. So now I type data. And now I can type my email message. Hello, Aaron. This is Bill Gates. How are you today? I would like to give you 15% share of Microsoft.com. Please reply and let me know. Or click this link. HTTP w one dot microsoft dot org. I'll put a period in there and end it. Message accepted for delivery. Let's take a look at my email. Oh look, an email came from Bill at Microsoft.com. No subject line. That's fine. Let's take a look. It says, hello, Aaron. This is Bill Gates. How are you today? I'd like to give you a 50% share at Microsoft.com. Please reply or let me know. Or click this link. Oh. 
Looks like a common spam message we might get sometimes, right? So that's how you send an email through the command line. When I'm done, I type quit.